Hello YouTube, um, how's it going? Another blog entry, things, uh, just an update on what's been going on. <clears throat> uh, I got back from the US Open, did my vlog there, had a great time. Uh, and have started to get a lot of rounds in. So uh, I think I've gotten three rounds in since I've been uh, actually going out to Beth Page uh, here in Long Island. Um, there's the railroad that I took out to the Long Island Railroad. That I took the. It's actually turned out to be easier to get out there than schlepping around clubs in Brooklyn um, and dealing with trying to deal with lifts and stash clubs places. So I can just take the train out there. I was sort of toying about doing this, doing this anyways. And there's uh, five courses at um, Beth Page. I did go out and jump out on Black uh, a couple week as, weekends ago. I did play the Black. I didn't take any video because I was stuck with a bunch of people. Um, and it played really hard. I mean, they it was really soggy, rough, and I was not playing it correctly. <laughs> I think it was about 85. Um, it was rough because I was just toying around and playing with some, you know, you get paired up. And it was right before the open, so it was packed, like tons of people, which was great. Tons of people were going to play it. But uh, it certainly wasn't conducive to playing some good golf. So, um, but they also have other courses, and they have uh, a, a shorter course. It's like 6,100 yards, but it's a really fun little course. It's excellent for practicing uh, your drivers and short games. So I've played about three courses, and my scoring has come together. It's been good. So I think I was 75... Uh, 77 and 76 yesterday, um, it's par 71, so I might have even been 75 yesterday because <clears throat> uh, I was actually one under on the back, which was great. The, the, par, the par fives are super short, so they're pretty easy to get scores on um, if you're not knocking it on. If you're not having to run an eagle, you're tapping in for birdie or if you're missing it it's like a super easy if you miss the green it's a super easy par it almost feels like you're bogeying uh but i take them and i use them as a birdie so just it's really good for just you know those the, are the, so, so good scores but i'm also leaving stuff out there so it's really good just to get yourself aggressive um and really dialing in my wedges so i took some footage of my little gopro the little cube thing uh, I don't tend to take the front nine just because uh, I, you get ter paired up with people and I don't want to be mucking around with the camera. But I can tend to play some holes by myself and um, the f unfortunately the first time I did it, I didn't, I remember the camera itself but I forgot my little uh, tripod. Then the second time, so the foot, there's footage, it sucks, so I'm terrible at this stuff. But at least you can see me playing some holes finally. Uh, and then the second time, I did it uh, yesterday. Uh, when I was one under, uh, and I pr I took out this larger uh, tripod I had, but uh, the camera fell off as I was sort of, someone was waving me through the, the the pro was teaching and they waved me through and I was rushing and the the thing fell right off the tripod because it's only magnetized. So uh, I need to get a new, but that'll be good. Uh, I need to get a new camera, but I guess I'll use this one and maybe get um, a better uh, one of the sort of uh, go the you know these gorilla ones i have a shorter one but i should get a bigger one anyways i'll sort it out i'll get some like at least i have a process now to play uh i but my driver i can hit drivers basically you're not i mean it's a short course you shouldn't really be hitting drivers but i just hit drivers like on every hole just to practice my driver and uh yeah i've been hitting some good drivers uh i was hitting some really solid irons uh then not the greatest ball striking day yesterday but good scrambling like I was sort of missing shots but I was hitting great scramble shots uh, so um, yeah a lot of good takeaways I'm gonna just keep working on my irons get my irons a little bit more consistent uh, you know still working on a lot of stuff so it feels like a bit of a laundry list before I <laughs> take the club away but sooner or later, those are going to groove and become a lot more natural. And and if I really work on these things, like they really pay off. Like I'm hitting the ball further, I'm hitting the ball straighter, and um, with a lot more control. So just taking that to the course. I did that uh, in one round, which was great. I hit the ball really, really well. Um, and then, <clears throat> so and my putting has 
you know, the greens are really slow there. So you'll see even my this first attempt, I was just really trying to rack the ball with a shorter stroke and, you know, my, my grip's uh, sort of breaking. But then yesterday I was a little more fluid getting used to it and, um, yeah, it was hitting really good long lag putts. Uh, it's tough because the greens are so slow if I go to a regular course. I'm going to have to do some serious adjustments. But that's good. That's great. These are the things I need to be able to do. So um, I think I'm going to get my schedule together. I'll just do – there's some tournaments I can do in the uh, – in August. I was going to sign up for the New York State Amateur, uh, but I signed up for this – the MGA here in the New York City area offers a knee club, but I – it doesn't work for the New York State Golf Association. So I don't know what the point of doing this was. <laughs> so anyways, I'm learning all of this stuff again. I might have known this before, but I didn't. So I can't get into the New York State Amateur because I'm my course isn't – a New York State course, even though it's in New York State and I live in New York State. Anyways, uh, so I guess I'll just put my start putting my cap in at Beth Page, and I think that just takes care of it all. So I can get into some uh, the Long Island Amateur, uh, which is going to be on Black Beth Page back in August or July or something. Um, hopefully, it won't fill up, <clears throat> but then I can at least do the Mid Am qualifier, and I can do a couple Mid Ams in the fall. So that's pretty good, you know. I mean. Um, it just feels good to be shooting some good scores again. Not good, but like starting to eat again. It's an easy course. It's 6,100 yards. Um, are you done? Yeah, so it feels good to be shooting some numbers. I mean, still leaving things out on the course though. So trying to get, you know, that mentality would go low, not being satisfied, and not being satisfied with, you know, shooting over par on a fairly easy course. I say easy in the sense that that's still difficult. I mean, it's still difficult in some ways. There's actually four tilling has um, holes on it, but uh, you know, it's. Can you hear all that? Um, there's still four tilling house holes on it. It's it's not super simple. It's a lot of trees. I mean, uh, but you know, it's short. Like you'll see in my, I'm hitting sandwiches, driver sandwich everywhere. And even then I was hitting some bad drives and still have sandwich. Um, but yeah, <clears throat> just good to be uh, getting in a position to have a lot of look at birdies and trying to like make them. Uh, so, yeah, I'm just gonna keep doing that. I'll 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 put this video up. Um, this video sucks. I'm sorry. It's terrible. Like it's it's all over the place. This camera. I didn't have the thing, and I was putting it in my pocket. Anyways, I'll go through it. But there you go. Uh, long intro, unfortunately again. But I'm finally playing golf, so that feels good, and I'm finally scoring, even though I'm not swinging as as well as I could. All right. So look, I'll do. I'll try to get some better course footage uh, and I'll do some swing updates uh, I'll probably try to take this camera to the range and just do a session and uh, maybe t t uh, I'll, I'll do I did some screen grabs and I'll put them in this about some of the things I've been noticing in my swing so um, yeah all right here we go so here we are um, <clears throat> I didn't do the first hole uh, but I birdied it um, Got on to and got an eagle. So this is a really nice par. Attilian has par three. Um, it's got 185. It's playing a little into the wind. Hit five iron. So I'm sorry about these angles. I didn't have my uh, my my tripod with me, but at least you can see me finally playing some golf. So put a pretty good swing on this. Um, <clears throat> if I memory serves, let's take a look. Yeah, knocked this to about, I think, 18 feet, 20 feet. It's a pretty big game, yeah. <coughs> 20, 25 feet. A um, little on the front. Um, you can just, I hit this pretty hard, so you can see. I'm trying to hit a shorter stroke, but bash it up there. And <coughs> uh, I still hit an okay putt, but moving forward, I got a lot more. After watching this, I got a little bit more fluid with my stroke. Um, yeah. 
know how far that is. So 25 footer, tap it in for par. So uh, on to the 12th hole or the third hole uh, in this back nine. So this is really another nice little killing house hole. It's about three, pretty short. I don't know, so three, three forty or something. It's got a split fairway, <coughs> um, but it's easier just to take it straight at the green. I'm trying to do my routine, but even here I'm not fully doing it. I'm just sort of standing back and I'm not really picking a target and getting in the zone. So, uh, so I've been doing that more on my my rounds after watching the footage. So just doing these is really helpful. I mean, it is annoying having the camera. It's not a bad swing there. I sort of sort of fluffed at it in the rough. You can see the rough is really chunky even for this little short course. Um, but yeah, it's really helpful watching you know yourself go through a round even though it's really annoying setting up the camera. It'll be a little bit easier, I think, with a better tripod. So here I am. I think I'm uh, about 50 yards, 55 yards, um, you know, 58 degree, throw it in there. Uh, hit a good shot. A um, little far, a little past the pin, about 20, yeah, like 20 feet. Uh, not, you know, <clears throat> pin was sort of tucked, and I was in the rough. I just played long. I was playing a couple balls. Um, yeah, went down there, you know, past the hole, no trouble. There's a big bunker in front. You can start to see some of the terrain. It's quite a nice little stretch of holes here. Uh, you know, not, it's, I think I ended up short. On this, you can just see the ball dying. <clears throat> uh, it doesn't even really uh, roll out. So this is the looking back down the hole. It's quite nice. You can see the mounds of the split fairway. There's a couple of fairway monsters. This is a nice bunker in behind the uh, behind the green. And so now this is a nice sort of <clears throat> longer par four. Not terribly long, but um, a sort of a, a dog, slight dogleg to the right. I had a good drive here, but I blew it right through the fairway. So uh, I was in the rough. Um, again, these angles suck. I'm really sorry, but hey, it's the, I'm trying to learn how to play golf, not be a cinematographer. But anyway, <laughs> so you can see a little bit of you know sort of things breaking down. That's the next thing I'm going to work on. So someone called me and I forgot to shoot the second shot, and I yanked it left into this really long stuff beside the green, and I hit a great recovery shot. I hit it to about 10 feet. Blind shot. <clears throat> and uh, so here I am grinding for the par. Uh, and uh, I put a good stroke on this, I think. Yeah, you see, you see the ball just dying. So, uh, mid to bogey, so I'm back to even. So this is a really good par 3. It was playing about 190 uphill, it was cold, <clears throat> so I hit 4 iron. And I'm working on a bunch of swing stuff, <coughs> and I completely duffed this shot. Uh, I'm trying to get my hand a little bit lower to dress, or just trying to work through on impact stuff, and I just completely hit behind the ball. So, um, there's a whole bunch of crap down to the left, and the ball hit a car path, sprang right in there. Yeah, I just completely de decelled on it. It's still like I'm not it's having trouble trusting new stuff. So I tee it up again. I sort of declare that one lost in my brain. So I'm hitting three off the tee. Uh, yeah, and uh, I've hit four iron. It's cold, and uh, I put a good swing on this one. I regroup and uh, yeah, you know. Hit a really good put put a really good switch just bounce right back. I hit it to like 15 feet, um, and yeah, you can see it. So and then there's a big bunker there, and I flew it. I was sort of trying to stay away from the bunker, and I flew it over. So I flew it about one, probably 195 all total in the cold. Um, <clears throat> so uh, so here I am trying to grind for another bogey again, um, or another one point save, and uh, I hit a good putt here. And, uh, yeah, you can see the ball just dying. Uh, but, yeah, a little low, but, uh, you know, just another tap in. So I'm, uh, now I'm two over. So this is a sort of shortish three, I don't know, 350, 340, um, par four straight away, trees left and right. Uh, I'm trying to actually remind myself to do my routine. I just got up and I 
didn't really do it. And even then, like I say, I'm not really standing behind there and getting the vision, so I'm working on that. I'm also working on holding my follow through now that I've seen my footage. Uh, so, here we go. Um, yeah, pretty good swing. Sort of yanked it a bit <clears throat> to the right. Uh, and here's why I'm terrible at this. I pointed the camera the wrong way. <laughs> So I'm hitting again, another little wedge in about 60 yards, I don't know, 50 yards or something. Um, again to a big green, maybe it was 65 yards and 58, uh, and point the camera the wrong way. But I hit it on, but I hit it a bit long. So it's just another good chance to dial in my wedges. Um, so I'm about 20 feet. I'm, I hit it really far. I hit it about 20 feet by, 25 feet by. So not not great. It's good good to work on my wedge game um, <clears throat> so and then after these greens being so slow this is downhill and I should have known the screen is lightning fast so um, I yank it by <laughs> a lot and uh, I miss it uh, come back or I, I think I put a sort of bad stroke in this place or gave up on it um, can't remember here. Yeah. So, seventh hole, got a bit of a bogey train going. It's just a really short 300 yard par four. Um, <clears throat> there's bunkering, it's straight away. Bunkers on the left, but you can sort of hit over them. Not super, uh, not super in play. So, I decided to practice my free wits. So, I got uh, my uh, F7, I think I have it dialed down to about 14 degrees, or 14 and a half or something. Put a pretty good swing on it. Um, you know, again, I'm going to start to try to keep my uh, form on my follow through. So again, another 50 yarder here, a little 58 degrees, pins right in the middle. Uh, I hit a good shot, but I sort of pull a little bit. Just again, good good way to practice this stuff. So, yeah, I hit a good wedge. I just sort of floated in there. Did pull it a bit. It didn't, it ran out a bit. So, I'm about 20 feet. Uh, again, I want to just be able to at some point dial these in, but <clears throat> um, I think I read this straight and it ended up breaking to the left. And that's sort of very uncharacteristic for this course because the greens are obviously really flat. Um, so, but I did put a good stroke on it. You know, I sort of broke down a little bit, but yeah. <laughs> Just throw my hands up in the air. So, eighth hole now. A nice sort of par five. You hit uphill and then it goes dog legs to the left. There's trees left and right. Um, the left don't really come into play. But the right, <clears throat> if you push it, they come into play. I mean, but it's, you know, it's, I don't know how long it is. It's sub 500 yards, so. But uh, I put a good swing on this. Fly it up there. Um, take a look. My posture is looking a lot better. Yeah, so this, there's some good stuff here that I think I can work on. So I'm about 220 out uh, uphill. So I got my hybrid. And uh, I put a really good swing on this. Yeah, it's going to stay down there. So, I'm working on that. so, yeah, here's just the coming up to the green and sort of you know, a little bit of panorama of the course. Uh, you can see at this time of day, <coughs> sort of have the place to yourself, which is really nice. Um, so those are that's the 17th, and then there's the 12th, 13th. We looked at earlier the two and a half holes. Um, so yeah, I knocked this to about, I don't know, 10 feet for eagle. I think that's why I say, like, these are on the card, par fives, but, you know, I mean, driver hybrid. Um, yeah, but, you know, it's just good for scoring, it's good for your... It's good for your uh, your mental game when you make a double. You know you got something coming up that you could potentially get it, get it back, and so it keeps you focused, um, even in a real even though in a real course you would play.
but it'd be that easy, but at least you can focus on trying to get to the back. So I hit a pretty aggressive putt here. Uh, the screen was slow, but I sort of bashed it. And uh, <clears throat> I got a sort of three-footer coming back, which, uh, you know, some work. So, you know, I putted it out, and uh, I made it. So uh, there was a, a gentleman and a son on the next hole. I played up with them, parred it. So I uh, finished the round at uh, 37 plus 2 for nine holes. So there you go. Finally some golf. More to come.